It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs. And it comes your way next. It is still summer in the Midwest and a pleasant summer day at that as we are set for football at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it will be the Detroit Lions taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But CD, this Chiefs club, you'd have to imagine, well positioned to make a run at repeating as Super Bowl champions. But it all starts and ends with number 15. And that, of course, the reigning league MVP, Patrick Mahomes. And it's not just his talent, as you know, partner, because we've seen that on display. It's his leadership and the trust that the organization has in him to help bring along an offense and turn it into one of the league's best. But meanwhile, for the visiting Lions, they're going to be a pretty trendy sleeper pick. I feel obligated contractually to mention that they've only won one playoff game since 1957, and that number gets more and more impossible every year. But finally, Charles Davis, can they break the string in 2023? Break it, snap it, cut it, whatever you want to use. This Lions team, I fully expect to be in the playoffs in 2023. I like the way that they're being built. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Kansas City. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. And season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. Rumors of Goff's demise? Greatly exaggerated, it seems. Boy, what a big year he had last year. 29 touchdowns. It led the Lions to their first winning season since 2017. Under his leadership, the Lions expect to make the playoffs for the first time in a few seasons. Right to the air. Here is Goff. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. No score after one on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. Here's Goff. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Good gain of nine on first down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Just need a yard here, second and one. 
There's Goff. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Goff wants to throw on third and one. That is caught. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. Patterson's kick is good. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So our initial drive this afternoon results in three. Not sure that that's a statement necessarily, but getting points on the road, never a bad thing. You're exactly right about that. I love how you framed it, right? Not sure it's a statement, but at the same time, you're putting something out there, aren't you? Letting them know, hey, we came to play today. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Well, the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy, check. MVP award, check. League leader in yards and touchdowns, check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been all about the defense. Just a lone field goal in that first half. And as a result, not too much available in terms of highlights. But that's okay. We've got a full half to go. And to bring it your way, let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. Now Isaiah Pacheco going to bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Play action here on the first play from scrimmage. They want to see how the linebackers are going to react. Are they looking to stop the run? Or are they going to sit back in coverage? 
A really nice job there of going in attack mode early, and they pick up a quick first down. Mahomes now on first down. And a quick throw here that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Mahomes now to throw. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. We're back now in KC been a very hotly contested game to this point just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter Mahomes got a man that's Richie James Kevin okay, three timeouts left right think you gotta use one here don't no you doubt about I'd use one right here all three timeouts still at their disposal Here's first and 10 now. Mahomes. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And a short game down to about the 33. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. What can they draw up now? Time to find out on a third and eight. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 20-yard line. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick here is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. This hasn't exactly been a battle of one touchdown after the other, quite the opposite. But at 3-3 now here in the fourth, it's been an entertaining game considering just two field goals. Yeah, is it really a football game now or are we watching baseball? This feels like a pitcher's duel, doesn't it? Nice and tense on the edge of your seat. Have you been scoring this one? A lot of, a lot of strikeouts and ground balls in this one. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. Four quarters, not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled?
So the Lions, now they'll get the first crack at things here in overtime as we are back underway. Khalif Raymond now. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. I cannot imagine how these players and coaches feel, Charles, because my palms <laughs> sweating up here in the booth now as we go to the third drive of overtime. And as we know from here on out, any points win this football game. I'll throw you a towel as well, partner. I've got one for myself, but let's face it, our nerves, our pressure, nothing compared to what's going on on that field. Both of the field goal kickers active here early. Can one of them become the hero and end this thing? And he's going to be taken down. Goff is saved. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now it's gone. Able to complete it to Montgomery. Gets through and now an opening. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. drive of overtime and now facing a third down and six. Big play coming up. Here's gone. Throw out wide. He's incomplete. The temptation to go for it probably there always is, especially in overtime. Yeah, product though. I think you're right. I think that you absolutely have to punt it away and trust your defense, especially for a little field position here. But you're so right about the temptation. Another way to satisfy that, though, line up in punt formation and fake it. That's another way to get it done. On the return, it's Tony. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. KC's offense ready to take over. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Now a second and ten. Mahomes will throw. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Oh, 
Here's Mahomes. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. So the game-winning touchdown came through the air in overtime. Four quarters wasn't enough. We were treated to a really good one, weren't we, Parker? That we were, and I just love being able to be witness to a game like this all the way through. Who's going to win it? Oh, what? We're getting overtime? Great for us. A lot of tension on the field. Very tough. Not a surprise it ended with a passing touchdown. That's the way we play in the NFL. But the execution was pretty darn good. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game. But, hey, they got enough points to get the job done. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win. And in this type of a game, the play of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. So that'll do it for us for 